Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, June 10th, 2022 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I spend time nurturing my values with my mind. And today we have Mercury and Pluto coming back in a trine. And um, I like these little phrases or songs that I've been getting from Spirit this week. Uh, with this connection, the first thing I thought of was don't feed the fears. But we're going to dig into this just a little bit because we do have a fast moving yod moving through here today. So a yod, to remind you, is the finger of God, <laughs> the finger of fate. It's like in astrology, it's like, hey, this is an important lesson for you right now. So this yod energy is focused right on the moon in Libra. And the moon in Libra is reminding us, come back to your center. Come back to beauty. Um, it sounds to me like the ordinary card. It's like today you may feel some intensity as that Mercury-Pluto connection comes through, but don't forget to look for the good things that are around you. And uh, Mercury is actually one of the players feeding in, so utilizing your mind in this to look for the good, to focus on the good, the beauty, whatever it is that you try to look at, <laughs> that's one of the players. And then the other piece is Neptune. And recognizing the beauty of a universe that has created this planet, created the earth, and oh my gosh, the plants and the animals and all of the goodness that's out there. Um, there's definitely some good at play and having faith, faith is a piece of that Neptune, having faith in the unfolding. So that yod is reminding us to stay in balance. The yod's also reminding us balance doesn't mean that we like ignore them, the fears, the shadows, any of that stuff, the stuff that Pluto brings up for us. We don't like throw it out the door and slam it. It doesn't work like that. These things do need to be worked through. So this isn't about brushing it under the carpet. There may be some attention that is needed to go there. I think the thing is, is don't feed it. Watch where you spin that energy. Watch where you dwell on that energy. Watch where you get stuck like quicksand into that energy. I saw a meme once that was like, you know, the world made me think that, I, you know, I was going to have to be a lot more worried about quicksand than I actually am. I think quicksand, I got a ding over there. I got a spirit ding over there. I think quicksand is more of an analogy of how we can get so sucked into something and not be able to gain our footing. So keep that awareness with you today as Mercury and Pluto connect. This is also a connection that can remind you like your values matter, where you feed your attentions matter. Pluto is ultimately about power. Um, power in the sign of Capricorn. Power, your authority over your power. Um, so watch that because what you dwell on with your mind, you ultimately empower. So what are you empowering? And as Mercury is finishing up in the sign of Taurus, you can empower that which you value by spending time brainstorming, aligning your energy with these things that you value. So all of that is part and parcel of this day, but do keep in mind the Pluto pieces can take us a little bit, you know, into, into the dungeon, into the underground. I will say that this is happening. The peak of it reaches at 2.22 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 2.22, trust and faith. So coming back to trust and faith, and I've got a little cat support. Mahalo came to join me. Um, a little cat support for that 222 message as well. So besides that, we have the moon finishing up today in Libra, finishing up this yod. It will move into Scorpio for this Mercury-Pluto conjunction. Um, the moon will also be squaring Pluto today. So the moon's going to be feeling this Plutonic energy as well in a square. And so again, we may get to experience the thing that takes us out of our harmony, that takes us out of our peace. Squares are very challenging. And Moon and Libra, like it wants to stay in that happy, like, let's just all get along place. And Pluto's like, 
hey, you're fooling yourself. Here's a thing. Here's a thing where you are not at harmony. You're not at peace. It is pulling you out. It's yanking you out. So that awareness is good. So you can work with it. Again, not shove it out the door or shove it under a rug. It's there for you to deal with that. So awareness of that. Moon into Scorpio. Let's see, 1.41 p.m. Pacific time that we have the moon moving into Scorpio. The moon moving into Scorpio will definitely bring us into our feels a bit more uh, in time for this connection. So do be aware of that. We are building to a full moon. So like building to a full moon can feel like, like a wave that's building. You know, it has not hit its like crashing point, but it's starting to build. So do be aware of the building feelings with the moon moving into Scorpio. Now, what I want to mention as well is that on Saturday afternoon, we're going to have Venus and Uranus uh, coming together. So that energy can be very uncomfortable. Um, it can bring some breakthrough energy. Uranus always is breaking us through as it takes us through the evolution revolution, but often it triggers triggers us on the way there. And this could be about relationships, this could be about money, this could be about our worth, and all of this may tie in with these Mercury-Pluto shenanigans. So do be aware of that happening in the background. Our cards for today, I have the traveling card. So we are expanding. And the traveling card can also be like the baggage that you need to put down. Being aware of any baggage that you've been carrying that's no longer willing to come with you in your personal maturity process, right? So there is growth and wholeness. Um, I have the courage card, and I think the courage card is definitely important. Keep coming back to your heart to also help move you through these energies. Even as you approach any fears coming up, how can you approach them with courage, with heart? That's the way to move through. Um, I got the rebirth card in reverse. So we're not we're not quite there yet. We're not quite de done dealing with these energies, dealing with these fears, but you're moving through. It's just the, that with the traveling card, you're moving through the process. Um, the final card is the possibilities card in reverse. And I think this is what we want to avoid, feeling like there's no possibility, feeling like there's no other outcome, feeling like there's no other way. In an infinite universe, there usually is. Sometimes we have to go through it, but usually there's another way. And sometimes feeling like there's not another way can feel so daunting, so heavy. And this is where we need to practice surrender, practice faith, practice um, working with the universe and working on releasing our resistance is what I'm feeling in that. But keep in mind, there's usually a way through. There's usually a path through. And a lot of times it's the stubborn mind that's blocking us from being able to see that way through or connect to that way through because we get st stuck in that quicksand of <laughs> this is the only way through. So I'm going to leave that here for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. <laughs> Namaste.